my beautiful aquarians welcome to your september career and finance reading quite a requested reading so here we are finance and career for this month speaking of your job your business your studies or even that you know great idea you have in your mind whatever comes in will be shared with you no questions asked but know and be mindful or be open mind for what you take with you and what you leave some messages could really help you to go through whatever you are having others might not really connect with you in any way that's why love so always always be mindful what you take what you leave Let's see, loves. What do we have in this particular area for this month? And of course, do not forget, we have half of this month still Mercury in retrograde. Good time to rethink, readjust, rebrand yourself even. Underneath, we have Four of Swords. It's kind of like you you know you need to do something, but you are not taking much action. But you will. Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and Nine of Pentacles. It's kind of you left one thing behind. For example, if you are working two part-times or one full-time one part-time one of those things you leave it behind more likely i lose more than i gain okay for some of you it could be a project that one of them it's profitable great the other one it is not at all so if you've been thinking here for quite a while what should I do about this? Should I keep it or should I leave it? I feel here you will, you will definitely will see a crystal clear energy what you should do next. So if you, in the beginning of the month, thinking off, I feel here in the in the following days you will, because definitely Mercury retrograde is great to rethink certain things, readjust refrain whatever you are working on because it's kind of like you are better off than with whatever you leave okay page of swords for some of you you might look maybe maybe i can you know fend something out but no for some of you after you leave something you are looking right away for something else because it's kind of like you have a main thing and then side things. So if you are an entrepreneur, you, you work on something mainly, but you have side hassles or things like that, or whatever you do here on the sides or part-times, whatever here you do or you used to do for quite a while, now you leave it behind because you feel like, well, if that, that didn't work, I got the lesson, I know it clearly, what now can I work on, what doesn't, what is good for me or not. So it seems here that you are keeping searching or you are going to search for something more. Nine of Cups, smack in the middle. Yeah, this month is kind of a change month. Five of Swords, Two of Pentacles. I feel here you, you could be quite... Um, Quite in that place that I know I can work both, but for some reason you could lie to yourself. That's why you always were being in a back and forth energy here. Yes, I love it, but I lose money kind of. Or yes, I love it, but that's not growing. Or it seems comfortable, but there's no is not bringing money or not growing or not going anywhere king of cups and for some of you you could have an emotional attachment to something i feel here now you are detached you are detaching from it let's see here the five of swords here why you've been in this 
for quite a long time. For some of you, it took quite a long time to to finally understand or finally clear see. It's not like you, yes, you could have an emo uh, emotional attachment to something because, yes, that's how they say, you own the business or business owns you kind of a thing or, you know, something in those lines. Either you make it work or that works you out. Five of Swords, the Emperor. And I feel here also the, the Emperor energy here that the ego was involved too like yes I knew it that's how it's supposed to be but now it's just kind of like nope yes feels like a little ego bruised but for some of you you will realize that doesn't matter anymore whatever it's there matter how how I feel about myself or how I feel about certain things with the Knight of Swords, yes, something here you you could have a hard time to let it go. But you know that was holding you back from moving forward. The Two of Pentacles, why you were in this Two of Pentacles for so long? Hermit, Six of Cups, and Temperance. It's like you you felt like you could be a little more patient or you needed to be patient. It's like for some of you, you kind of like were thinking like maybe I should give it six more months. And for some of you, someone might even tell you, well, you gave it last time six months. No more. It's kind of like make peace with it. And for some of you... Deep down, you knew. Whatever here you are letting go, you deep down know this is the good thing to do. King of Cups, speak to me, please. I'm hearing around the, the full moon in Pisces. Also, even though we see the, the clarity here, full moon in Pisces doesn't bring any clarity. So make sure to not do it exactly in the day or whatever you do or let go make sure it's either after mercury retrograde where when you feel that's the right thing king of cups knight of wands world yeah there's something here that was something here part-time okay and now it's kind of like it's trying it's time to get serious or it's time to get to the big bucks. I don't know what that means or trying to to go to something serious. Yeah, absolutely. Ace of Pentacles. Yes, for some of you, definitely something felt in some kind of way. I feel also that you really loved it. That's why I see this... Uh, attachment this emotional attachment and could also brought you flexibility and things like that but that's done and over this knight of wands and this king of pentacles moves different directions so it seems here now you are ending a situation that probably were on and off or because Knight of Wands doesn't speak here something consistent or something here that were full time. Because Knight of Wands is a in and out energy, it's not a full time energy. So you close that door and you're opening actually a new door. Whatever door you are closing, it's good to be closed because another one opens and it's stable. It's grounded as well gives you better opportunities and more stability even though more things to to be done but definitely money could be much better so it's kind of you are about to gain money instead of losing money so there's something here about definitely your finances 
could be bruised based on the choices in the past or how much you hold on certain things, but not any longer. Yes, your comfort zone, it's compromised, but you know whatever you do is the right thing. Let's see, one advice for you, darlings. What's the best advice we have for Aquarius? But let's see, before we go into the advice, what else we can see for you? The Devil, Ten of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and the Hierophant, and Ten of Wands. I feel here for some of you, if you, whatever here you are leaving behind, it's kind of like you really wanted something to go through. But also I see you, you've been learning quite a lot over a good period of time. So whatever here you leave behind is not just you threw away in the garbage something. No. I feel here there's a lot of lessons taken by you. And I feel here definitely will help you to navigate through whatever you are going. But yes, it's pretty hard, whatever it is. For some of you, I have three kings here and the emperor. The only king is missing is your king. So you were in this night, basically. And you are now moving into the King of Swords. King of Swords is the one who sees clearly the things. Or things much different than they used to think. So your view of how you do the things or how things work for you are much different than used to. Also, if in kind of before or in the past you were rushing doing things quickly because we have the fastest nights. Now you will slow down or now whatever you are moving forward will not be jumping into the things. It will be more like this hermit. Is this good for me or is this not? It's like your analytical point of view of things or how money works or how you see the money will be much different. So definitely here, whatever you got here was a huge lesson or was a strong lesson for what's next for you. Although I feel here your financial situation is changing by closing this chapter and moving into the new one. One advice here. Moon. Page of Wands. Ace of Cups. For some of you, you might feel here, I don't want to express any more my, my ideas and so on. The thing is, <clears throat> excuse me, the thing is, express your ideas, bring your ideas. Write down your ideas. Don't be afraid to look at these ideas and which one is the best, put it to work. But there's something here that you, you now need to approach the ideas or the things differently, but not with the fear. Just because certain things here didn't work before doesn't mean that they will not work forward. Because I feel here some of you definitely will have or you do have some sort of idea that is meant to prosper. So even though you close whatever is here, you take the lesson, you take the experience, whatever you go. But it seems here over time, there's certain things here you, you will start kind of like, you know, there's an energy here is like, even though certain things are 
going away or I need to let go. I'm not going to stop trying. So this is kind of like, don't stop trying. Don't be afraid just because something here didn't come to the light. Okay? Doesn't mean others cannot go to the light. Because the universe will bless you and will bless you big. So don't stop trying other things. Even though you might feel like this is it, I'm going to do this. Or just one thing. Don't stop trying because the universe will bless you big, big time later on. Although this is more like in the distant future loves. But I feel here for now, many, many of you, you'll do something else than you used to. Or you cut something, you, you feel like you're losing more than you gain. And of course, let's see one advice. Transform and unveil your gifts. Yes, definitely here transformation is a need in here. And yes, you do have gifts. You are a gifted one. And you definitely have much more out there. Summer, bask in joy and light. It's kind of by, by the next summer, things will improve tremendously. Especially financially. Take charge with authority. You know what that is. And trust in the unknown. You are in the place where you need to be. And yet feels a very unknown. It's like you are in a place that you don't know yet if can be something. But yes. Trust in the unknown. Intend and create. Because you are creative child of the universe. So whatever creative idea you have, still work it on. Don't give up on your ideas. Still working on them. So lovely Aquarius, that's what I have for you, darlings. I hope these messages are speaking to you. If it does, let us know. Much appreciation that you are being in tune with us today and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.